Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Donna and I am the Creole Crafter. Today I have a Easter Planner DIY project. So let's get started. Here are the supplies that we are going to need. I have the word welcome that I went to Cricut Design and I cut out. I also have some candy pop sticks from Walmart, apple barrel paint in white from Walmart, some stuffing that I got out of an old pillow that I have, some of the foam Easter eggs from Dollar Tree, a galvanized cup that I found at Walmart, and some greenery and flowers from Dollar Tree. I also have some pre-cut material from Walmart and it comes in different patterns and different colors and I think it's maybe about 10 square pieces in the pack. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to give our galvanized cup two coats of the apple barrel paint in white, let it completely dry and then we're going to come back with apple barrel paint in black and we are going to distress our cup because we want it to look old and warm, worn and chipped. And um, the black paint is going to make it look like it's kind of, you know, chipped up and old. And I'm just touching it with the um, paintbrush with very little paint in different areas on the cup. And I took the word and I weeded it out transferred it to the middle of the cup you don't have to do this this is just for inspiration um, but if you do want to do this and you don't have a Cricut Dollar Tree sale peel and stick letters that you can purchase and you can do the same thing with them now we're gonna take our fabric we're gonna pick which pattern we want which color we want and we are going to cut out Easter eggs we will be stuffing the eggs with some of that stuffing and that stuffing is just kind of just came out of an old pillow that i have that i had that i was just going to throw away and i just kept the stuffing but you can use some batting or even some plastic bags to stuff your eggs with whatever you have so now that i have picked out which pattern and colors fabric i'm going to use I will take the fabric <clears throat> and I'll cut out two pieces at a time and I'll cut it out in the shape of an egg and after I've done that I will separate the two pieces so that I can hot glue them together and I'm just going to take a bead of hot glue and run it around the entire egg and leave a piece open an opening piece maybe about an inch wide so I can have a place to place stuff the stuffing in and I'm just using my fingertips to spread the hot glue out so it, you know it doesn't look like you have a bumpy line around your egg And after the hot glue has set, I'm just going to take the batting and, well, the pillow stuffing, and I am going to stuff the egg with that. I guess it actually, actually was batting before it was stuffed in the pillow, so yeah. And the next thing that we're going to do is take our candy stick and insert it into the egg take some hot glue and close up the closure with the stick already in the inside and while i do the rest of my eggs i want to take this time to thank all my subscribers thank you guys so so much and thanks to all my new subscribers and welcome to the family and if you're just stopping by today, hello and welcome and thank you also. And I love you guys to the moon and back. I really, really do. Now that I have stuffed my other eggs and I also took some 
barbecue screws and I shoved them into the foam eggs and I painted the um, screws and the candy pop sticks with sunburn amber paint so they can look like an actual you know wooden stem and I'm going to take that greenery and I'm just going to fold the stem I'm not going to separate it I'm not going to cut it apart just fold the stem and stick it down in some floral foam that I inserted in the cup and then I'll just add the eggs um, and the flowers to that to make an arrangement and you can use whatever type of greenery whatever type of flowers you like and just um, arrange your arrangement to whatever makes your eyes happy And there it is and I also took some jute twine and wrapped it around the um, top of the um, jar can and I gave it a simple jute twine bow thank you guys for watching and I hope you like this as much as I do and leave me a comment and let me know what you think of it and always always remember to get lost in what you love. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.